For the first time in 30 years, the Florida International Air Show canceled a day of the show due to weather. This comes at a bad time for some charities that are depending on money from that event. SNN Local News 6 reporter Howie Grace takes a look at the potential economic impact. They've been around for 30 years and wowed audiences with 61 performances, and they've never canceled a show. Until now, that is. It was a front that came through. Today's absolutely gorgeous. We could uh, have a beautiful flying today, but uh, we just happened to uh, have bad weather on Sunday, and it lasted for a long period of time, and there was no way around us uh, putting the show on. The Florida International Air Show is a charitable event. Last year, they donated almost $130,000 to local charities. But that number could be much lower with this year's loss of a full day's revenue. Yes, it's going to, to, to impact and affect them. In addition to the basically economic conditions we're having right now, the charities are all right now having a hard time fundraising. Organizers tell us they could purchase weather insurance, which would cover these sort of events. But at $300,000, it's just too cost prohibitive. You know, obviously we've been in business 30 years and uh, we uh, cannot afford the weather insurance. So we're kind of self-insured. So as a result of that, we try to plan ahead. So far, the total economic impact is not known, but organizers hope to know more by the end of the week. We will attempt to address the, the physical impact over the next week or two once we see exactly what our revenue was. Until then, some local charities will just have to wait and see. Reporting in Panagorda, Howie Grace, SNN, Local News 6.